Hi, this is Vasily, and you are watching breakdown video for my painting animation, which was done to showcase CopyPoints plugin. Here we see base mesh, which actually is sweep noobs, just a flat object, and here we are Red color means the direction from the left to the right and blue from the right to the left. I built a matrix object over with sweep noobs, so it's just the clones. Now I will explain you all the effectors which I have here. First one is a color and weight, which define the color which is coming from purple to blue, green and yellow, as well as it defines the weight for this matrix. Let me show this weight. So here where red means weight of 0 and yellow means weight of value 1. Second one is a look, which defines the base look, uh, base scaling for each of weight clones. Starting from this group field is affecting animation, so this group field is a driver for our animation. Here we have a curve layer, which drives our animation from begin to the end, so I can set this visibility. And we animate visibility using this group field. After that, I will enable this plane, which is scaling the tip of this drawing. This animation is start our clones a bit above the ground and following all these clones on the surface. Next one is scaling our tips, and this effector is curling our tips opposite to direction of drawing. Now we have a gravity, which will affect all the clones but already fallen on the ground. And here I have a custom Python effector named Major Effector, which actually removes the old clones when new one is arriving. How it works? Now we can scrubble the timeline, see how it works. You see it's not very responsive because there are a lot of calculation. We can still play it, see how it works. And the last effector is just pushing up all the clones above the ground for a few centimeters. So we have a basic setup. It was wrapped into the volume builder. And for the volume measure, Cinema creates automatic EV map for us, but it's not usable because uh, during the animation, if balance of the object are changed, completely not usable. Ok, and back to my setup. As an input object, I was dropped this volume measure object. In attribute section, I skip it UV map copying because I don't need automatically generated UV map. And here in transfer setting, I use the master source for all these three attributes. I define it this point radius almost the same as defined here in volume builder for this matrix. Here I have radius of 8 and here I have a radius of 10. Also, I enabled this use scale checkbox, as same as in volume builder, use particle size, and you might see what particle size was used to generate this uh, bold and tiny meshes, as well as this tip of a brush. And here in search radius, I type it pretty small 3 cm value. Search method was the nearest, and I defined a threshold of 1.5 just by experimental way. And I'm using all of these free attributes in a different range of material. So here I just have a Cinema 4D shader tiles. In a weight I'm using a vertex attribute, name it as this tag transfer weight. And here in the color I'm using a different vertex attribute, which name it as a transfer color. Actually it's all I wanted to say about this setup in a few words. I have a detailed explanation on my Patreon page, you can check it there. And see you, bye bye.